Khan, my girl, you are living the dream. One of the few games I was looking forward to in 2021 was the Cotton Reboot. To some of the Cotton franchise, it's an obscure shooting game from Japan made by the company Success. Cotton is a popular franchise among old school gamers and shooting game fans thanks to its art style and fun gameplay. However, it's also known for being really hard to come by. Success is a small company, and many of their old school games had small print runs. Cotton was no exception. All the retro con games go for outrageous prices on auction sites, and outside of the first game on the TurboGrafx CD, none of the games were exported outside of Japan. Not helping this was the series falling off the face of the earth after the polarizing reception to the Dreamcast title, Rainbow Cotton. For whatever reason, Success, in combination with Game Store Beep, decided to reboot the Cotton franchise for the new systems. Beep is a really cool store in Akihabara. Lots of cool retro games, Japanese PCs, hentai, posters, and they make their own indie games. I'm not sure how this collaboration happened, but I'm glad it did. Cotton Reboot is just that, a reboot of the franchise. Well, remake is more of an appropriate word here. This is a redone version of the Sharp 68000 version of Cotton. What is a Sharp 68000? It's an old gaming PC from Japan, and that's all I know. I don't play on PC. I know the touch of a woman. Anyway, with all that background out of the way, how is the game? I can safely say Cotton Reboot is good. This is a solid shooting game that has a lot of depth and challenge. The run that you are watching now is me playing on the normal difficulty, and boy howdy does this game not fuck around. If you want to make this review more interesting, every time I drop a continue, take a shot. To parents who might pick this game up for their children because of the fun art style, be warned. This game will turn your children into fucking animals. Repeat gameplay is a must to get through this game on one credit. If normal is too hard, easy mode is here and it is still really, really, really difficult. And there's even a harder mode, which is smash your nuts in with a sledgehammer difficult. So yeah, there's a lot of ways to play this title. What's cool about Cotton is that the levels move in multiple directions. Sometimes you go up, sometimes you go down, sometimes you go backwards, and you have to navigate through these tight passages all while dodging enemies and bullets. I wouldn't call Cotton Bullet Hell, but damn, it comes close to it at times. Unlike other shooters where you just hang at the back and fire away, in Cotton you gotta maneuver around all the bullets firing at you and not run into a wall. It makes you think in different ways than your typical horizontal shooter. Cotton herself does not rotate, so how do you hit the bad guys coming out of your line of fire? As you collect crystals, you could shoot them to change colors. Collecting the colored crystals grants cotton powers such as homing shots, giant lasers, barriers, and so on. Using these is key to survival. If you collect the yellow crystals, that upgrades cotton's standard shot. Don't be shy with cotton's magic power. You get a lot of crystals, so don't be afraid to use your magic. I prefer the barrier and shooting the crystals for a super shot. That does hella damage. It's a cool system, and it makes you think about resource management in a shooter. But really, the key to getting by here is stage memorization. You need to play this game a lot to get by on one credit. But if you're like me and are terrible at these games, there is unlimited continue so you can see the lighter stages. If you want the complete arcade experience, you can throw quarters at your Switch. There are cute little cutscenes in between each level to explain the plot. So what is the plot? Silk, the fairy, her kingdom is under attack and needs Khan to save it. But Cotton is a Moe version of Wario, and she's only motivated by eating Willows, her favorite candy. So Silk bribes Cotton with Willows so Cotton can save Silk's kingdom. Okay cool, now show more pictures of Giant Fairy. I'm not into gigantism, but I would be if Silk caressed me like that. The reboot looks good, though it is very visually busy at times. If you want to test the colors on your TV, here is a game for you. Here is a comparison between the reboot, the Sharp 68000 version, and the arcade versions of Cotton.
so cotton is fun, but is there anything else here? Eh, not really. There is a time attack, a few different difficulty settings, but that's it. It's a fairly light package, all things considered. It would have really benefited the game to have some other versions of cotton, like say the arcade version or the Neo Geo Pocket version. Or be like Crimson Clover, that game gave you many different practice modes, a stage select, multiple ships, different gameplay modes, an input display, and two-player co-op. To me, Crimson Clover has become the standard of what a shooting game should have. And as a result, I'm not sure what the longevity of this game will be like for gamers not hardcore into shooters. With that said, I cannot judge the game for what I want it to be or what it could have been. I can only judge it for what it is. And what it is, Khan is a solid shooting game. It plays great, it has great presentation, and puts up one hell of a challenge. So if it looks fun to you and you're looking to stick your teeth into a different kind of shooting game, I say give Khan a spin. And for the record, I do think the best shooting game on the Switch is Crimson Clover for the reasons mentioned earlier. And after that, I think Don Maku Unlimited 3 comes at a close second. But let me know in the comments what your favorite shooting games are on the Switch. And while you're down there, why don't you shoot that subscribe button and the bell as well for notifications on future videos. Remember, if you want to help out your favorite creators, those two simple clicks are free and they will help out your favorite creators immensely. And you can also share the videos too, that's also free. And if you want to know more about me and my life here in Japan, feel free to shoot me a line over at Instagram or Twitter at ZMangs. And with that, I sign off for now. Take it easy.